Hi there, I'm Alex from Swivel and in this quick tutorial we'll be going through how to batch stitch 360 degree photos, panoramas or sometimes called photospheres using PT GUI. Let's get started. Okay, so first thing is that you're going to need to open up PT GUI. So here I'm using version 12.24. If you've got a different version, it shouldn't matter too much and this video should be pretty generic for everything. So you need to get your images ready. So here I've got some example images that I'm gonna use in this video. So what you'll first wanna do is make sure that you've got 12 images. So here you can see that I've got images taken in 90 degree increments with three exposures taken facing in each direction. So we've got these three images here form the north direction of the images. And then we've got an east direction, a south direction, and then also a west direction. There are then multiple different panoramas here. So we're going to be batch stitching all of these. So in the end, we'll end up having these nine different panoramas created with the 12 images making up each one single location. Inside PT GUI, Press load images. So navigate to the folder where you've got your images and select the first 12. Then press open and we'll see that we've got our 12 images here. You'll then want to press enable HDR mode and then we want to select this first option merge bracketed images to HDR and link the position. Then press OK and we'll see that we've got our four different directions. Press on align images. Wait for the analyzing to be done and you will see a preview. Minimize this, select the image parameters tab and update the yaw for position one to be zero, position two to be 90, number three to be negative 180 and number four to be negative 90. Now return to the project assistant tab and select run optimizer. You will want to ensure that your images say good before proceeding. Press OK and select the exposure slash HDR tab and select exposure fusion. Click on exposure fusion settings and open up the exposure fusion tab. Adjust the boost shadows to approximately two or adjust as you see fit into your preferred lighting requirements. Also adjust the reduced light to plus two or adjust to the requirements for your imagery. Close out of this and click on the project settings tab. Uncheck choose a suitable projection and check do align images and save the modified project. Enter the create panorama tab and select the width at 10,000 and this will automatically enter the height at 5,000. Select the output file directory and create a new folder for the output images. Select save. Now go to tools and then batch builder. Press detect panoramas and update to multiple panoramas per folder with a fixed number of images. Ensure that your source folder is where your images are in their unprocessed state and press open. Update the images per panorama to 12 and you can either leave the image file extension as blank or enter in the file type. Press detect panoramas and you'll see all the panoramas that will be created from all the imagery. Select use template and select use current project as template. Also check delete the project after batch processing and select generate projects. Press OK. You will then be taken to the batch stitcher and the images will process one after the other. Once the processing of the imagery has been done from the batch builder, go back into your folder. When you open up your imagery folder, you may found that the processed panoramas have been placed into that folder. If that's the case, just open it up into the list view, get the, those images and put it into the output folder manually. Open up your output folder and you'll have your imagery. The imagery is then ready for you to use it in the software of your choice. 
If you're looking for an efficient, user-friendly way to share your 360 panoramas with clients, colleagues, or an online audience, check out Swivel. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give the video a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks.